What's up, everybody? I hope that light is not bothering y'all. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, let me close it. That better? Is that better? What's up, Snoopy's gangs? I got uh, just a quick little something, something. Because um, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Because I got a three-hour movie to watch called It. Oh, let me show y'all what I got. So I just got, I scrambled some eggs. I put some cheese in it. Some onions, fried it with butter. Hot sauce on top, a little bit of syrup. That's how I like it. Regular toast. Oh, and I haven't had a nice, good, hot cup of tea. I can't show you the tea because it's going to spill. Anyway, Lipton tea. So I'm excited because I remember watching it when I was a youngster. And that movie was long. I think it was three hours long. Stephen King, if I'm correct. And that movie was hella cheesy, but it was pretty scary, though. Just the concept of it, you know? So the one back in the day was kind of cheesy, but now we have that technology where this one looks like it's going to be crazy. Three hour long movie. I just finished watching The Mummy. That movie is friggin' off the hook. It had a few cheesy parts in it. But that girl Sophia, whoo, man. <laughs> what's up y'all what's going on how's everybody doing how's your weekend you know, there's a lot of good shows that I watched that left but there's a lot of good ones coming back too um, a show that I love is called Stranger Things I watched season one with my kid and um, she just told me last night she's like yeah dad uh, two weeks Stranger Things Season 2 is coming back, so I'm really looking forward to that because that was a good show. Anything that reflects back to, like, the 80s, 70s, 80s is cozy classic moments for me because those days, when I was a youngster between the ages of 11 and 13, 11 and 14, like, around those times, like, I remember the impact that, like, Back to the Future had on me, E.T., Commando, Predator, Terminator, um, you know, classic movies like that. There's there's way more too, but I'm just listing off a couple of my top big favorites of all times. Like I love movies and I love shows. And there's nothing better to go with those movies and shows than some good comfort food. This is comfort food too. And it's the season where I'll be making my Snoop Soup again pretty soon, so... Um, I am going to market it. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it yet, but I do have that in store for the winter for sure. Hmm. It's simple but good. I hope this video don't cut off on me. And I do plan on doing some lives too. In the future ahead. I like jumping on lives though. You get to interact with your favorite mukbangers, right? And you meet people and you get subbies and you sub back. And, and make happy family, right? Oh. Probably try this for you guys later on tonight. Takis. What does that say? Chili pepper. Hot chili pepper. Lime flavor. Oh, that's going to be fun. And there's another one that's... Um, 
tortilla chips. Crunchy fajita. I don't know if you guys ever seen these, but I went to I went to um a place over here, a place that we have in Canada called um Fresh Co. And in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure most people would agree, other than no frills, that's the best place to shop to get a lot of grocery for you know a decent amount of money. And they brought those, and the lady was like, yeah. She goes, a whole bunch of Mexicans came in and bought them all. <laughs> and I was like, yep. I'm from California, I know. My Mexican brothers and sisters go crazy for that. I said, I do too. Something about chili and lime, man. Like Chili and, and lemon or chili and lime is bomb. So, yeah, flaming Hot Cheetos. Takis. I've tried, I think I've, it's either these or another one that's like this. I never had these though. But, I don't think it's going to be Flaming Hots in my book, but you never know. I don't think so. But, the cover looks so bomb. Only one way to find out, right? So I guess, I didn't get no comments but about my camera, but I guess it works pretty good. Because sometimes when I go back, while I'm editing, I'll listen. And I can be sitting back here, and you guys can still hear the crunching pretty good. Eventually, I will get the one that you clip. I swear, I thought I ordered one. Clip on mic. And maybe if Snoopy East checks his mail, it might be there waiting for me. I'd be forgetting. I'm notorious for forgetting to check mail, man. <laughs> Got mail sitting in there for like a month, month and a half. That crunch in your hair is the onion. White onion. The same onion I put on my burgers the other day. Just letting you guys know, ladies and gentlemen out there, if you <clears throat> kind of feel a little bit off, like you're not really having like a good day, you know, you need a V8, have a cup of tea, man. It settles your system. We're done. I like to dip my toast too. Oh, you know what I haven't had in a while? Some peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna buy a box of cereal. I got some some cashew milk and some vanilla almond breeze. Have a little bowl of cereal later. Mmm. There's a lot of new shows out too that <clears throat> it's just time. Like, I don't really have that much time. But like, I watch Quantico. I, I watch so many shows Flash, Supergirl, um, Shooter, Designated Survivor. Watch that. That's a sick ass show. With Keeper Sutherland. That's a good show. Breaking Bad. If nobody's ever seen Breaking Bad, that's a dope show. Better Call Saul. That's the show before Breaking Bad. With the lawyer from Breaking Bad, but it's his story. How he starts off. And they introduce all the characters. That's a good show. Well. Wow. Mm. Oh, snap. I still have a big, um, a brand new, um, 
and probably, what do you call it, a pint of haagen -Dazs. And the flavor is Irish cream. I want to say like biscotti or something like that. It's like a biscuit, right? Mm, that's good. <clears throat> My favorite haagen -Dazs of all time is coffee and probably will reign supreme as my favorite but i'm really taking a liking to this irish cream one it's like right there with my coffee and you know what i'm gonna next week i'm gonna buy one of each and mix it i get in my mood sometimes i just like it straight or sometimes i put the little chocolate hard topping on top Mmm, Ralphie's, if you guys are watching this, I'm not sure if you have or not, I'll go back and check, but I request you guys do um, a Dairy Queen mukbang, in the car would be the best because it's ice cream, right, and most likely it'll melt by the time you get home, but I don't know, I know, I know Dairy Queen has burgers, they have hot dogs, they have chili, and I think onion rings and all that other stuff, but <clears throat> I've always liked their ice cream. It's not the best ice cream in the world, but I always liked their ice cream, so if you guys want to do a mukbang on that, there's no Dairy Queen close around here. I have to drive like 20 minutes to get one. <sighs> yeah, so, and you know what? It's good to do um, homemade food. Mix it up every once in a while. Too much fast food. <laughs> so, unless you got a high metabolism and you hit the gym. <clears throat> I'll catch up to you. But it's autumn. They say in Canada, autumn. I just like saying fall season. And it's the coziest season, man. That's when all the shepherd's pie comes out all the homemade soups chicken noodle soups beef soup pumpkin soup tomato soup i love soup um all the potato dishes all the chowders my sister makes a bomb what is it i think it's a potato chowder oh my god i can't wait mark rap i just reminded myself i gotta steal her recipe because that's another soup i want to incorporate with my soup because i make I make like the hearty soups, right? But that chowder, man, you squeeze some lemon on that and put those little oyster crackers or Ritz or whatever and you um, hit it with some hot sauce. Mm-hmm. So bombs. Oh, for real. Really, really good. Soup season. Hashtag that. Soup season with your boy Snoopy Eats. Mm. Okay, so here's the question. What do you guys prefer? This is going to be a tough one. And it's okay if you say both. But if you have to choose one, or one of your favorites, what do you prefer? Tea? Or coffee. Alright, so look forward to hearing about that in my comment box. Hit me up. Leave me some love. I love chatting with you guys. And um, I don't know what's going on this next weekend, man. Like I, I really want to do soup for you guys. But I wanna I wanna record it, you know? So I gotta get that editing down because I'd like to show like the process of me preparing all the vegetables, the meat, seasoning it up, cooking it, all the all the stages. That everybody needs to make the soup. Excuse me. And then I'll eat it for you guys. So I really don't know what what, what I want to do this next weekend, but I'm always uh willing to take um willing to take suggestions. If you want to write it down below in the comment section, then feel free. Alright, so we're gonna get all go get all go go. I can't even talk. We're all gonna go get cozy now. And um, bust out the treats and give this movie it a try. Hopefully it's good. For three hours, that's going to be a long time sitting down. My booty finna get numb. But um, 
as my subscribe my subscription has gone up a bit and i don't want to thank everybody for subscribing i love you guys <clears throat> have a good rest of your weekend and a good safe work week school week whatever it is that you're doing stay blessed always think positive keep your head up love you guys thank you a lot i'll get back with you next week